When it comes to RV repair and upgrades, many RV owners wonder, can I fix my RV myself? Hello, I'm Stephen Holmes, Director of Service Operations for Crossroads RV. We know your time is valuable and we understand the cost associated with bringing your travel trailer or your fifth wheel to your dealership for repairs. That's why as a manufacturer, we're sharing our knowledge with you. In a series of DIY RV videos for those of you that might want to tackle the simple stuff yourself. Remember, always use caution and if at any time you are uncomfortable, please stop what you're doing and schedule an appointment with your authorized dealership. Even more importantly, never work on any safety related items. Welcome to another episode of RV Pro Tips. I'm Matt Arndt and today I will show you how to replace a basic hinged vent lid. Some common reasons why you may need to do this. The vent could have become damaged by low hanging branches. It may be discolored, brittle, chipped, cracked, or you may just replace it with a new one while doing regular roof maintenance. For whatever reason you're looking to replace your vent lid, you're in the right place. Now let's take a look at the tools we'll need for the job. Simply a screw gun, a number two Phillips bit, and a number two square bit and your new vent lid. I'll start inside the RV and crank the vent lid open. With the vent lid open, use the screw gun with the number two square bit and remove the four screws in the vent garnish. Pull down the garnish and set aside for later. Next, with the Phillips screwdriver or screw gun, remove the crank handle. Remove the vent screen by simply pinching the two sides of the vent screen to remove or using a standard screwdriver to start prying it out. It is important to note that the particular vent you are working on may have screws that help hold the screen in place. If so, you want to remove those screws before proceeding with the screen removal. This vent has a fan assembly. Gently remove and let it hang to the side. Remove the two screws holding the operator assembly. Remove the assembly from the lid and set it aside for later. All right, let's go on the roof to replace the lid. Don't forget to take the replacement lid with you. Simply flip the lid over until it releases from the hinge, and then go ahead and install the new lid. It was just that easy. Now let's go back inside and finish up. Install the operator assembly first. Next, reinstall the fan assembly, reinsert the screen, and install the operator handle. Once the crank handle is installed, let's check our work by closing and opening the vent lid. With the vent lid working as designed, now we can finish installing the garnish. If you have an idea for a DIY video you would like to see, please leave us a comment. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more RV Pro Tips, or visit our webpage under How To's. And thank you for watching.